guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can create this zombie half-burned look. So yeah, this is really fun. Um, I'm only showing this hand because this hand is blank, while well, this hand has all the gross stuff on it. But yeah, um, so I'm going to show you guys how to go over this, and if you guys want to become a zombie, this is my interpretation. And I just want to let you guys know that I don't do a lot of my own creativity type of things. I usually do inspirations from like other people. But this was actually thought up all by myself, which I was pretty impressed by because I don't usually come up with things by myself. And I thought of I thought of this zombie. So yeah, have a good joined and yeah, let's get started. Morning. This is my first attempt doing a bald cap, so I guess we're gonna see how that works out. Not really sure, but let's do it. So, like I already said, I have never done a bald cap before, and especially this is even harder because I was doing half of a bald cap. But I just put on, I cut off half of a bald cap and put that on one half of my face, and the half that the bald cap is going on is going to be all burned, so that's the reason the bald cap is going on. And I just applied that with spirit gum. Then I'm going to take some liquid latex on a plate and one of those cheap um, latex sponges. And I'm just going to apply that all over the edges of the bald cap. I also took some Vaseline on my eyebrows so they don't get ripped out with vas or so they don't get ripped out with with latex. Oh my, I can't speak. Um, and I'm just going to add more latex on the bald cap on, on that uh, and on that half of my face. With this was unnecessary on the bald cap because it's not gonna you're not gonna be able to peel it off anyway. Then I'm just gonna take a mixture of latex and flour, and I'm just gonna create two big open gashes on my forehead and my cheek. I am using a plastic fork for this for no reason. That was just the easiest thing I had laying around. And there's my little sister. But then I added another layer all over the other half of my face. And then I'm going to get started on picking open little like holes in the latex on the burnt half. And this is going to like blisters kind of. So I'm just picking that open with some tweezers and my fingers a little bit. Um, you, ca you can't pick it open on the bald cap obviously because it's just putting latex on latex. It was kind of useless. But then I just started to take some red grease paints and I'm just going to fill in each little blister on that half of my face. And don't forget to put little blisters on like all over that half. Then I'm just taking some tweezers and kind of peeling back those gashes. And just so you guys know, this has been done after it dried for about like a half hour to 45 minutes because it's going to take a long time to dry. And I'm just picking open the inside edges so it's kind of opened and flabby skin. Then I'm taking some more red grease paint and just filling in the big gashes. And don't forget to do the other gash, obviously. Then I'm taking some black grease paint. I'm going to put this on the like inner edges to add more depth. And I'm just taking a small little detailing brush to do this. And then I'm taking more black grease paints and I'm just going to add this on the edges of each little blister to kind of make it look kind of charred and like burnt, obviously. And so this is supposed to be kind of wet, um, new blisters, but at the same time charred. But then I'm just taking a little bit of a sponge and I'm just kind of blending it out so it looks blended. And then I just picked apart a sponge and I'm going to take some red grease paint and stipple this all over to add texture and irritation all over that half of my face and um putting i'm putting this also on my eyes because if you got burnt i'm pretty sure your eyes would be burnt too and then i'm just taking the tiny little detailing brush i could have done this done this with a different brush it would be a lot more efficient but i didn't i took a little tiny brush and then I'm just going to blend that out. And I'm not doing the back of my head because this is only for photo purposes and videos. So it wasn't actually to go out with. Then I'm just taking some black grease paint and putting that all over in random spots. Just to break up the texture and make it look all gross and burnt. Once again, that is the goal here. Then I believe I'm taking purple. Yes, I'm taking purple on a stippling textured sponge. And I'm just going to put this 
all over that half of the bald cap and on the blistered area. This is going to add, once again, more color, irritation, bruising, bruising, and yeah. Then I'm taking some black grease paint just around my eye sockets and blending that out with a little sponge. Then I'm just doing more color detailing around the blisters and adding some purple on a stippling sponge all over the open gashes to add bruising. On this half, I wasn't using that much red grease paints because I didn't want it to look burnt. I wanted it to look simply bruised while the other half was burnt. But I did go back with a little bit of red to add some more irritation. Then I'm taking the Urban Decay Shadow in Nooner. This is like the best shadow if you just want simple bruises. It's like the perfect matte purpley bruised color and it's just so easy to add perfect easy bruises then i'm taking some black grease paints and stippling that around the open gashes just to add texture color and depth a little bit adding some more black on the outer part of the little flappy skins then i'm taking the urban case shadow in blackout once again, a perfect matte black shadow. And I was not doing this good at all. I wanted it to look kind of greasy on my eyelids and gross and not and streaky and not not good at all. And then I just went back over with the stippling or with that textured sponge we peeled apart earlier and I just went over the black shadow with no color just to add more greasiness. Then I'm going to take red purple and black shadows and start adding bruising to random areas around my face like around the nose the corners of my eyes and around my mouth a little bit and so now i'm taking black and just doing that around the eyes nose mouth just to add bruising and grossness then i'm taking a flat foundation brush with some gray grease paints and i'm just adding this on any empty areas because we're a zombie, we're kind of dead. So I wanted our face to not look like skin toned. I wanted it to have a, gro a gross gray kind of color to it. Then I just randomly applied that to the bald cap once again to add more color. And um, I didn't apply the gray very well. I wanted it to be kind of streaky and old and gross looking. And I'm also applying that down the neck a little. Then I'm taking some red and black grease paints and I'm putting this all over the neck and wherever we put that gray foundation or the gray grease paints. This is just once again to add more gross rotting colors and stuff all over our faces. I tried to make sure I wasn't doing too too much because you don't want it to look burnt. You just want it to look kind of gross. Then I'm just taking some black eyeshadow and making really weird faces with my mouth and just putting that kind of on the inner part of my mouth as well as the outer corner and around my lips and you know that kind of area just to make it look gross dry and gross also putting that around the nose eyes and the mouth i guess then i'm taking some fake blood and i'm just gonna fill in the open gashes so that's what i'm doing here and also, I didn't want it to look so fresh. I wanted it to look kind of old. I wanted the gashes to look old while the burn looked kind of new. Like it was an old zombie that just got burnt. And, but still lived. So then I'm just stippling some blood all around the outside. I didn't want it to be drippy because once again, we're going for like an old kind of look. While the burns happened at a separate time. And the burns were newer. Then I'm just applying big globs of blood on each of the burns. And this is, I want this part to look kind of wet because it's going to be like kind of new, new blisters and stuff. And also putting that on the half of the bald cap. Then I'm taking some Vaseline and this is a simple trick to make the blisters look kind of wet and new and gross. And yeah. Then I dripped blood on my pants, or my shirt, or whatever I dripped it on, but I dripped it on my clothes. Then I just thought it would look cool if I put dripping blood around my nose. I don't know, that's just what I was thinking at the time. So I put blood around my nose and dripping down my nose, 
and this actually like didn't feel so good it kind of burned because it was so close to like my nose i guess but i still did it for you guys then i'm just taking the blood dripping down my mouth but stippled on the upper part of my mouth so I'm kind of stippling the blood everywhere, and then I think I go back and drip more blood. And I also put it all down my chin, like I just got done eating so some of these brains. This video. Don't forget to like this video if you did, and sub sub and comment down below what you guys think. And yeah, and subscribe to become a beauty and be a part of our beautiful world. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye.